Hey, Scott, what's up, man? I'm here to film. Uh, who are you? No, no, it's, it's, it's me, man. It's Aaron, Administrative Results. No, I've never seen you before in my life. Hey, get off of my property, okay? Hey, we got somebody trespassing. What do y'all call the cops? Scott, no, it's Scott, it's me, it's admin. When did you get here? I've been here the whole time. Hey, never mind. Forget the cops. Get the cameras. Admin's here. Yeah. I thought I told you to get out of here. And what'd you do with Aaron? I am Aaron. You are not. Scott, you no. Are... You better get off of my pad. Oh, God. Get out of here. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today I have some very unique flashlights to show you, and I have a very special guest. Administrative Results is here with us today. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? Doing good, sir. How are you? It's good to have you. Good to be here. So you used to be in law enforcement, right? I did, yes. Did you ever carry a mag light? No, I'm young and hip. I had a mod light. Ah, well, I had the old school mag light, but have you, you've seen mag lights before. Oh, of course, yeah. Okay, well, have you ever seen one like this? I have not. This is a mag light that is made by CSG, and this mag light is actually a firearm. This one is chambered in 410, and I have this little guy that is chambered in 380 ACP. So the flashlights on these actually do work, okay. but the bulbs are busted. So we will not be using the flashlight portion today, but we are gonna try out the gun end, and these things work in a very interesting way. So this top part here unscrews, Place your round in there, screw it back on, and then you literally just pull this back, there's a spring in there, and let her go. Okay, so me and Aaron here are gonna try these things out. First, we're gonna take a shot at a steel target and see if we can even hit anything with them and see if they even function. So there is no safety on these, uh, which is kind of sketchy. So once you get this loaded, if you were to flick this over, it's going to go off. So now I'm going to keep that pointed downward. Um, I don't know how I would feel about having this in my pocket. No, I don't like the idea of that. You're, um, you're one misfire away from, well, never having kids again. Okay, I'm going to try out the 380, and then Aaron here is going to try out the 410. I highly doubt we hit anything, but we're going to see what happens. Wow! I don't think I hit it. I actually think that I saw the bullet take off that way. Did you see it? Yeah, I think it went for the space station. It literally shot off into space. Um, I don't think there's any rifling in this. It's just a little bitty hole. There's no rifling in there. Okay, Aaron, let her rip. All right, gentlemen, here's the point shooting. Oh! That was a little bit jumpier than I thought, It man. didn't blow up. I didn't blow up. So that's up. good. I don't, did you hit the target? No, not even close. Yeah, well, at least they work. So accuracy is not one of their strong points, but they are cool and they work. So we're gonna continue on with the video. I'm gonna call that a win. That's a win. Okay, Aaron, before we get started, we are gonna have a table tossing contest. It's tradition here. Okay. And the winner today gets a bucked up energy drink. What the buck is an energy drink? You watch your mouth, this is a family friendly channel, but thank you for asking. Bucked up energy drinks are 100% made in the USA. They are zero sugar and they're great for when you need a little pick me up during your long work day. A big thank you to Bucked Up Energy for sponsoring today's video. And if you wanna check them out, there is a link in the description down below. Hey, what the heck, Scott? I thought the winner gets the energy drink. Just shut up and throw the table, Aaron. Yes, sire. Are we going for distance or height? We're going for, we're going, <laughs> so we're going for distance. Okay. Um, whatever technique you want to use. Actually, I don't like that angle. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little rusty for my table throwing days. It's, o it's okay, man. All right. It's first time for everything. Yep, yep. Ah. We'll place our energy drink right here is the marker. Correct. All right. I'll throw from there. Okay. That's pretty good. Better than Houston Jones. He threw his and it went straight up in the air. 
Oh, no. <laughs> that wasn't the technique. Oh, my gosh. I did it way wrong. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to the board of councils. I'm going to have them tested for human growth hormones. That never happens. <laughs> All righty. We are going to see just how good or bad these guns are. It's addicting, isn't it? So we got some ballistic gel here sent to me by the fine folks at Clear Ballistics. This is a 16 inch block of 10% clear ballistic gel. We were going to do some chronograph readings also, but Aaron here had a little whoopsie. But it doesn't matter. The show must go on. We're still going to shoot the ballistic gel. He's going to do the honors with the 410 and I will be using the 380. I have some Underwood ammo, 90 grain extreme penetrators. All right, how far do you think it's going to penetrate? I'm going with six inches. Oh, I mean, that's pretty deep. I'd give it four inches. Four? Yeah. It's going to like bounce off the block. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Uh, well, I would say we are wrong. That shot through all 16 inches. After seeing that, what is your prediction with the 410? I think I think it's gonna send the gel into the air. Yeah. I don't know about penetration. And you have, uh, I believe, triple lot buck yeah. in that 410. So you got, I think, three or four pellets. Okay. I'm going with half. All right, fellas, you ready? Oh, it definitely got stuck in there. Dang, it almost made it through the whole block. They're right there. Yep. Holy cow, man. Okay, well, you know, we were making fun of these things, but... They got some power. I mean, a last ditch effort, you gotta break out your, your mag light gun. Um, it may serve you well. Okay, we saw what kind of penetration we could get out of these things. Now let's see what kind of energy transfer we can get. I've got some pineapples here. And uh, I'm going to blast one with the 410. I'm going to take a shot with that. And uh, you're going to try out the 380 now. It's going to be a good time. All right. Here goes the 410. Oh! That was pretty impressive. That was pretty solid. I'm not a big fan of SpongeBob SquarePants. Well then, that was just in and out, right? Yeah. It's not as, uh, not as climactic as the 410. We can take care of that. Chipomatic 5000. So like I said, these things are a little sketchy and I feel like if you're not so careful loading them, you could have a little whoops-a-daisy. So now I have some Ballistic Dummy Labs hands. These are clear ballistic synthetic gel with bones inside and we're gonna see what would happen if you weren't so careful loading one of these. What do you think? I don't know, Scott. This doesn't feel right. Is this, uh, this all you had left? Listen, we talked about this off camera. You can't make the dad jokes. Hey, okay. you all right, here's to a helping hand. Oh! Yeah, you wouldn't be having a good, oh, that's not supposed to move that way. Okay, I would say that a whoops-a-daisy with a 380 definitely would not be a good day. You may need a little baggie for your finger. Uh, let's see what happens with the 410. Here we go. Oh! Look at all that unburnt powder. Oh my goodness. Yeah, same effect. Hey man, high five. So now we're gonna see what would happen if you had some bird shot in your Maglite 410 shotgun 
and you wanted to do a little skeet shooting. The spread that is on this thing is probably quite large and I don't think we have a very good chance at hitting any clay targets. So we're just gonna use some two liters of Fanta. I say Fanta. All right, I'm gonna chuck it just straight up this way. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. One, two, three. Did you hit it or? That just looked so cool. I'm gonna say you hit it. I appreciate that, I'm gonna Scott. say you hit it because that was pretty magnificent. I, I didn't hit it. <laughs> I can't lie. Okay, yeah, pull. Pull. Oh! Oh! Dang it. <laughs> I cannot believe that. That was pretty good. That I want to redeem. Awesome. I want to redeem myself. Yeah, you got to do it. Do you have your handy dandy pin? Yeah, so you can't uh you can't just pull it out. You've got to like knock the whole thing out with a pin. It doesn't have an ejector rod. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, you got it. You got it. We got it, baby. I love shooting Fanta. I love it. Up next, we got some eggplant because nobody, nobody likes, likes eggplants. eggplants. You don't like eggplants either? No. Did we just become best friends? Yes. Do you want to hit eggplants with my gold play button? Yes. Swing, bada, 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 swing, bada, bada. <laughs> Big Come one. On, send them to me. <laughs> I hate eggplants. I hate eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. So, you hear something go bump in the night, and you're going through your house with your mag light, and you encounter this wretched creature. Wouldn't it be nice if your flashlight also had a 410 shotgun on the end? That would be nice. This is one scenario where I could actually use this thing. Would Here, just shoot this thing already. Yeah, okay. I will hunt you to the edge of the earth. <laughs> no way. No way. It's alive. The Kentucky Furbies are most resilient, sire. We got this big guy right here. I'm gonna let you do the honor, sir. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this collab with Administrative Results. If you wanna check him out, I will have a link to his channel in the description down below. As always, be sure and give it a like and hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Scott. His name is Administrative Results. And we'll see you next time. I have the power! You're welcome back anytime. I like this place.